Hi guys, this is Erica at Create Your Future and in today's video I wanted to talk about how to get them obsessed with the power of your subconscious mind. Okay, so before I start the video I just wanted to remind you that we are running a contest. We are giving away some coaching sessions. All the details are in the description down below. And also if you want to get notifications of like when we or I have a sale or a new course, uh, you can uh, sign up for our mailing list. And I do have a sale going on for my coaching, my one-on-one -on -one coaching. And I have a course uh, called How to Manifest a New Specific Person, if that's what you want to do. So, okay. So I wanted to talk about, you know, getting that person that you want obsessed with you. Because I know there is a lot of people that would like to experience that and i think that they would like to experience someone obsessed with them because what they are actually experiencing right now is maybe just a little bit of of you know attention from the person or maybe like zero attention right so uh they're just getting breadcrumbs right so when we say i want that person to be obsessed with me it's like we want to go to the extreme right and to me, I don't see anything wrong with the word obsessed because I know that some people think like, oh my God, like being obsessed, that is negative. It's only if that's what you assume, right? If you would like a lot of attention from your specific person, but the the word obsessed doesn't resonate with you because it's, it's you know, to you, it feels negative, then change it to something that maybe, uh, you know, doesn't feel as as much, right? For you as negative. So find a, a synonym word for that, right? An equivalent for, you know, obsess without, um, without that word that you might find negative. But in my, in my reality, in my case, in my specific situation, I don't see it as negative. To me, it just means that this person is, you know, like... They're thinking about me 24 7 they're like they want to see me all the time i'm the love of their lives etc etc right so to me it feels good and so yeah i think that when we want that person to be obsessed with us is because we are probably just getting a little bit so and in the beginning of the the video i was talking about you know use the power of your subconscious mind to achieve this and I've been reading this book, and I think I've talked about it before. It's called um, Expand the Power of Your Subconscious Mind by Joseph Murphy. And I really recommend this book. It's really easy to understand. There's a lot of, like, really, really you know, good affirmations, but a lot of good information. And, um, you know, what they talk about in this book you know, it is everything that we are experiencing right now is a projection of the subconscious mind. And what happens is your conscious mind is the, the protector of that subconscious mind, right? Because that's why, you know, when I think I've, I've, I've brought, I've talked about this before the, in the movie, The Secret, they talk about how like it's really good that if you think, uh, an elephant, right? It's good that you don't instantly manifest the elephant because you wouldn't want an elephant in the middle middle of your living room, right? So talking uh, talking about what, you know, what I was talking about, the conscious mind, how it is the protector of the subconscious mind, it's, uh, you know, if you just think of an elephant, it's like, okay, it's just, just an elephant, right? Because you don't want to instantly manifest, manifest that. So the conscious mind is there to protect it, right? That's why you know, when we want to change something that we are experiencing in the 3D by repetition and, and convincing the, the subconscious mind, right? The, the conscious mind has to, you know, convince the, the sub subconscious mind. That's why, you know, it is when we actually believe in that assumption, that is when we see it projected out, right? So, um so yeah, what we want to do is conv convince the 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 subconscious mind of this new reality, right? And we do that by repetition. 
So anyways, I really recommend this book and talking about having that person being obsessed with you. Probably right now you are thinking and assuming and believing that you are not maybe like you never get the, uh, the person that you want to to choose you to pursue you right you only get the people that you don't like they're the ones that are pursuing you but not the ones that you that you like that you want so that person that specific person that you want to have a relationship with uh it's like he's just giving you a little bit or maybe even nothing right so that is what your subconscious mind is believing and you have to convince the subconscious mind that that is not the reality that you want to experience anymore, right? If you have had previous relationships where you also always feel like I am not that important to the, the partners in my life, right? I am not that important. They don't really prioritize me. They only give me a little bit, right? They never commit to me. They're not like, they don't take me out. They don't romance me, right? If we have these stories running in the subconscious mind, that's why we are experiencing it. So what we have to do is convince the subconscious mind that that is not what we want to experience anymore. So we have to change that identity and tell the subconscious mind, convince the subconscious mind that from now on, this is what I experience from my partners. Instead of just the little bit, just the breadcrumb, the lack of commitment, the not being pursued, who we are, our new identity is, I am someone that always get consistency from my partners. I am someone that is consistently getting asked out i am someone that is you know always gets that that commitment that she wants from who or i'm, I'm speaking about she right because i'm a, I'm a lady right but remember you can change accordingly um the sexuality of your partner right um so i always get that commitment i am i am someone that always gets the commitment that I want, the consistency that I want. I always get the, the commitment from the person that I am attracted to, the ones that I want, right? We have to convince the subconscious mind that this is our new identity. This is the new me. And we do this by, again, repetition, consistency. In this book, it talks about how like, you know, it's kind of like the conscious mind is the, that pen that is writing the new story in the subconscious mind. Keep writing it, keep writing it, keep writing it. So we need to, you know, here have that new identity that I always get. I always get what I want. I always get that consistency from my partners that I'm interested in. I always get the commitment. I always get an abundance of what I want, right? A lot of phone calls, a lot of dates, a lot of, you know, romance, passion, love. That's what we want. That's, you know, I think that is the very opposite of breadcrumbs. That is like this person or the person that I want is obsessed with me because what's the meaning behind that? When someone is obsessed with me in a good way, it's like they're always calling me and texting me. They want to see me all the time. They tell me all the, all the time that I'm so beautiful, that I'm amazing, that they want, you know, they want to spend the rest of their, their lives with me, right? That, that's, you know, what being obsessed to me, that's what, that's what it represents to me, right? So we want to think from that new identity, right? We have to convince the subconscious program by repetition that this is our, our new identity. And that person that used to experience just a little bit, the lag, the, you know, the breadcrumbs, we do not identify with that anymore. So I think it's also important to, to, uh, to analyze what is it that I'm thinking about my specific person, right? Because I can be that woman that, you know, 
I'm, I'm chosen, I'm wanted, I get consistency from my partners, but or from my partner. But if you're still strongly assuming that that specific person, like let's say Jerry, if I still assume that Jerry doesn't care about me because A, B, C, or D, meaning because he he already has a partner or he or she already, you know, like they're just they they're afraid of commitment they are not ready for a relationship or they whatever the story is right if that's what we are, are are assuming about that specific person we have to change it right it has to go hand in hand it's me this is who i am this is my new identity i get the consistency the commitment the the phone calls the dates the everything that i want but also this specific person this is how he or she sees me right they're emotionally available with me they are they are vulnerable with me they want to commit to me they in their eyes i am that perfect partner uh, you know they they want that commitment with me they want to spend all of their time with me i am extremely important to them because i am a great catch right i always bring it back to me so it's convinced the subconscious mind that this is the new story the subconscious mind will not judge will not it will be like okay if this is what it is okay here it is right it will project it out so you just have to persist in that new story to replace the old program of i'm not chosen i only get breadcrumbs etc right so um we just have to persist in that new story and i wanted to quote uh i mean talk about some you know jewels that i got out of this book from just the first chapter that i thought that was really helpful um for us to really understand it um let's see in this book it says you are like a captain navigating a ship he the captain must give the right orders and likewise you the open power the one you know the one in charge in your reality you must give the right orders thoughts and images to your subconscious mind which controls and governs all of your experiences see that's why i always tell you guys I am the opera and power. I am the one in control. I am the one that calls the, ch the shots. I am the queen of my reality, right? We are. So just like a captain in a ship, we are the ones that have to give the right orders to the subconscious mind. And the subconscious mind is a faithful servant. That's how it, they talk about it here. It will just give to you what you convince it that this is what I am this is what i experience and it will project it out so it's just make sure that you are telling it the right story that you want to now experience and detach from that old story that you already experienced that you already manifested that you do not like uh, he also says never use the terms i can't afford it or i can't do this or in the situation, I never get the commitment that I want. I never get the dates that I want. I never get the person that I'm interested in. We cannot tell that to the subconscious mind anymore because it will just say, okay, here's more of it. Here's more you can't. Here is more you can't afford. Here is more of you never chosen. Here's more of you always get breadcrumbs. If that's the order that you give into uh, the subconscious mind, it will just keep projecting it out. So no more. So your subconscious mind takes you at your word, meaning it believes you, and sees to it that you do not have the money or the specific person or the ability to do what you want to do. Affirm, I can do all things through the power of my subconscious mind meaning i know and i believe that my subconscious mind will project out the new story that i'm telling it right and 
one last one uh no actually the, <laughs> the law of life is the law of belief a belief is a thought in your mind do not be believe in things that to harm or hurt you talking about relationships do not keep believing right that i always get hurt in relationships i am never chosen i never get the commitment i am right no more change the story so do not believe in things that to harm or hurt you believe in the power of your subconscious to heal inspire strengthen and prosper you and you know giving you that love that you want that you deserve that you desire according to your belief it is done unto you right so the last one change your thoughts and you change your destiny meaning if i change the thoughts that i'm telling myself right now that i'm telling my subconscious mind that i am right now my destiny meaning my near future will change accordingly right so just a reminder we are the captain or of our ships we are the ones that have the open power we are the one calling the shots so when we want that specific person to be obsessed with us to prioritize us to choose us to commit to us that's what we have to tell the subconscious mind by repetition but also i think it's important to tell yourself i can have it all i can have whatever i want through the power of my subconscious mind because this time i'm telling myself my subconscious mind a different story a story of something that i would like to experience in my near future but i think it's extremely important to let go and detach from that past that was maybe you know hurtful uh sad lonely say that is not me anymore something that i do that i've been doing is i talk to that person that experienced that pain that hurt either that little girl or the teenager or the younger me and i tell her okay detach let go of that pain let go of that resentment let go of that past it doesn't belong to us anymore i am the one that's in charge and control and we do deserve to have someone that loves us that commits to us that that prioritizes us that is consistent we are the serving of that right so i love you i'm here for you and together let's do this right i like to think of that you know that past me the past erica eriquita like my mom used to call me that younger me me the one the adult the one that is here and now right and my higher self that knows that i can have it all it's like that holy trinity we together as a team we're working towards the same um the same um end the same object right so it's something that also helps me stay focused so yeah we can have it all we're telling ourselves a different story we're telling convincing that subconscious mind through persistence and repetition but from a place of knowing from a place of power from a place of excitement and fun knowing this is what has to happen because i'm the one in charge i'm the one in control the subconscious mind is that faithful servant that will just give me what i'm telling that i am or that i have easy right well i hope that it was easy in the way i explained it so anyways yeah that's what i wanted to talk about uh you guys today i hope it helped you i hope that you know it it, it makes sense and yeah if you need help with your specific situation i'm more than happy to help you but you can do it we can do it we all have that power because we're here right we're all the same if another person has everything that you want and desire you're no different than that person it's just that that person is telling themselves that story that yeah i can have it i am deserving of it i right this is who i am so you can do it too we can do it too okay so don't give up remind yourself you're powerful 
and that you can have it all okay okay guys thanks for watching i love you bye